welterweight matchup between Bruce Lee and George Rush St. Pierre. Like Frank Sinatra, this man has done it his way. The former UFC welterweight and middleweight champion, George Rush St. Pierre. A lot of people believe pound for pound, DC. GSP is the best they've ever seen. Yes, because he was able to mix everything together so well. When he was fighting a wrestler, he was able to keep the fight standing. When he was fighting a striking specialist, he was able to take it to the ground. His jiu-jitsu and just his full-on MMA game was something that we had never seen in the UFC before. Won the UFC championship at middleweight after being away for four years. Just showed how special George St. Pierre truly is. In terms of MMA application of wrestling, no one has done it better than George Rush St. Pierre. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. George St. Pierre is eight years his senior. He is three inches taller. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. <laughs> This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Rush St. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your MMA fans. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented chip. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. 
sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the camera. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. It's a great punch. Right punches there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Out of range with that one. Right up the elbow. Right. That was a thudding leg kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps winning. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, nice jab. Watch land. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? Do you love that jab? Slips the punch. Big kick. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Some nice back and forth action here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Misses with the right hand. Lee's punch to the body there, doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Five minutes in the books. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Let's punch into that clinch this round. He has no answer for your clinch. He's not defending the right way. He's open for those knees, those elbows. All of that is working. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Circling to his right. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Lee gets hit with a kick. And he lands the knee to the body now. While just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts, he's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. It's double leg takedown and potentially a critical takedown here. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Nicely done. Bottom 
Bottom fighter trying to control posture, only able to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. St. Pierre's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, he's got his back now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? It's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. 30 seconds to go in this one. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Round three next. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Deep breath in for me. All right, listen. I need you to go out there, and I want you to do more of that. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stick. This is what happens to get two very skilled, very easy match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Nice leg kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. Wow, he actually got the takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by George St. Pierre. Lee gets up, he is back on the feet here. And he connects with a punch there, we'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, man. Oh, 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 He turned his entire body into that other cut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow from the clinch. St. Pierre gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by St. Pierre. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Oh! Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And both guys really throwing with authority. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. That's a big strike right there. Double leg takedown, stuffed. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game. And 
I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there. In the he did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not head hunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. What a body kick. Just unable to quite find that range. And they separate. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find out where he Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Very tricky when he throws that body. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. St. Pierre gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce. Red!